Hey all, I cannot believe May is almost over and I still have not delivered you my April income report. So today I am going to be sharing what I made in the month of April on Amazon KDP with all of my low content books. And right around the corner, you'll be able to see how that compares to wrapping up May here and whether everything is still on an upward trend or whether the summer start has started to drop book sales a little bit. If you are new to this channel, welcome. I am Rebecca, a former finance professional turned new mompreneur, raising my little ones and trying to find ways to make diversified income online with flexible hours so I can still get the little ones to and from school and keep them home when they are sick. Speaking of being sick, we definitely had another round of that in the month of April here, so I'm sorry that's why there have not been any video updates but I finally have a quiet household and can record a few videos, so hopefully I'll be able to be a little bit more consistent again here in May going forward. Before I jump into the numbers, I always want to invite you to hit subscribe to make sure that you can see those future updates so that you can continue the progress and journey with me and make sure you hit the notification bell so that as these videos come out live time, you are the first to know. Jumping right in here, I am already in my dashboard for KDP, and I am going to head to orders on the reports section. And I might just blur this part of the screen out because we are so close to the end of May. I don't want it to be a full spoiler. So don't peek at that while I pull up last month, which would be the month of April. And you can see that in the month of April, I sold 234 books. And as of right now, the number of books I have on the market is 427. So I have been trying to publish a few books, but honestly, not nearly as often or as quickly as I was doing when I first got started. And of course, some of that does have to do with the new title limitation where you can only publish three books a day. And it also has to do with some of my other projects I've been working on, like my Etsy shops and being an Amazon influencer. And you can definitely expect to stay tuned for some more videos on those projects as well. But that said, we can see that 78 of those books were coming out of a top 10 in the month of April. So on April 1st, this was an interesting anomaly I haven't seen before. I actually had 11 copies of the same book sell on April 1st, and that's actually the only book that sold that day. So it is interesting. I will actually give you um, a little bit of insight since I don't share a lot of details about the books that I have just yet. But uh, thank you for watching. So I'll actually tell you this book was in the pregnancy niche. So it's interesting to me that maybe somebody had 11 pregnant mom friends or was maybe it's somebody who is a doula and wanted to give them to customers. Uh, really not sure, but it's definitely interesting because it wasn't even like a child's coloring book and they wanted to give them out as a party favor. So you never know what's going to hit and what's going to stick. But then again, once I sold all of those copies, one or two copies of that book you can see in the same light blue color sold a week later, but then I didn't sell any copies again through the month of April. So you really don't know. That's why I like to throw a lot of spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks. Now, out of my top 10 books, there is a lot of diversity across what was selling and when. So it's not like I have one or two true top contenders just yet. And almost every day of the month, I sold one, at least one of these top 10 books except for maybe two different days in April. But if I head back to my line chart and check out all my books again, we can see that I am still excited to be on a really great track where I am grateful to have no days with zero sales this month. 
In fact, my lowest number of units sold in a day is four books in the month of April, and the high is 14 books in a day. I'm not positive exactly how that compares with prior months. I'd have to go back and check. I know that I do have a couple of peak days like that, but it is great progress. I always love to see. So let's be honest. The big question is always, what does that number translate into actual dollars and cents? Because that's what we're all actually the most curious about. So if I head over to tools and royalties estimator, we will see that these books generated Oh, we are not going to peek at that because that is the May number in progress. Here we go. These books generated, oh, so close, $399.05. So they generated almost $400 in royalties in the month of April. So if you followed some of my other videos, you may have seen my goal setting video where I was really hoping to generate a $500 month by the end of second quarter. And I'm definitely not there yet, but I do technically have May and even June to try and keep that traction going to make that goal a reality. And until then, I've got to work with this and $400 in passive income where I honestly do not touch this business is really fantastic. But as always, I do make sure that you know the whole truth behind the numbers. And here, my $399 does still have some expense to it that we have to subtract out to know what I truly took home in profit. So we'll head over to the marketing tab and go to my Amazon ads console. And I will make sure that the date is showing us from April 1st to 30th. It looks like that is already what I have pulled up. So I am excited to see that my spend in April, I've brought it back down, I was able to manage it again, and my spend in April was only $93. So yes, I said that I have expense that I have to account for, but thanks to those lottery ads, I only spent $93, so that means I still generated, what did I say I had, $399? I still generated just over $300 in profit. That is money that went straight to my direct deposit account. Now, I do pay for my monthly Canva use, which I use for not just creating my books and my covers, but every other aspect of all of my businesses. So honestly, even if I wasn't doing KDP, I'd have that expense. But when it comes to true KDP income and expense items, we are looking at $300 that rolled into my pocket on a very passive basis. A quick note about lottery ads, if this is the first time you're hearing about them or you've heard me mention them but still don't know much about them, check out the video that I'm going to link in the corner right now because lottery ads absolutely have helped expedite my growth and they are so low cost that honestly, anybody can afford to try them out. We are not talking about trying out a dollar or two like they say for Facebook ad strategy. I'm talking about five cents a book. We are talking about literally pennies or nickels or dimes that allow your books to get in front of more eyes and therefore hopefully make more conversions and more sales. On that note, I am not going to keep you too long today. You wanted to know what I made in the month of April. I showed it to you. Not going to keep you here any longer than that because May is around the corner. And I'm sure you want to get back to the tutorials, the how-tos, and the please help me with X, Y, or Z. So if you have topics, ideas, or questions like that that you want to see the next videos on, go ahead and throw them in the comments below and I will make sure to address them the best I can and hopefully help you as we travel this passive income journey together. Again, make sure you please subscribe and like this video if it helped you at all, if you find it useful or interesting or even just refreshing to see that not all of us are pretending to be four, five, six figure gurus right off the bat. 
And until next time, goodbye.